What's up, fam? It's Jay Lobos coming back to you on another episode. And today, I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about a few questions that I've been getting um, quite often. Who stole? Do I need credit, uh, personal credit to build business credit? Do I need to have um, a good credit score or a bad credit score? Or do I need to have financials? Do I need like a bank statement? Do I need to already be registered for two years? Things of that nature. And I wanted to go ahead and clarify this because establishing business credit, you technically don't need anything except certain fundamentals, which I've talked about this in the past. As a matter of fact, check out uh, my past videos regarding the credibility aspect when it comes to building business credit. That credibility, uh, the credibility aspect of it is very fundamental, very important, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Before I do so, guys, thank you for the love and support. Um, subscribe, like, comment. If you guys have any um, um, comments, you can go ahead and put them down in the video. Share this video if you found this to be very educational and fruitful. So now let's go ahead and dive into the question. Do I need personal financials? Do I need personal credit? Do I need bank statements, corporate um, statements? Do I need tax return to be able to establish business credit? And the answer is no. The reason why you don't need the, that type of information initially though, because guess what? Again, I'll do multiple videos regarding this process, but when you're establishing business credit, you're really focusing not on the financial aspect of it, even though that, that is obviously important. And I'm going to give you guys some key points and some, and some tips out there on how to apply. But in reality, we're talking about the fundamentals. What is the fundamentals? We need a corporate address, guys. If you don't have one, that's okay. I've always talked about having a virtual address. A lot of lenders, vendors, and creditors might not feel comfortable lending into a home. Or again, too, remember, they're Googling this information. Underwriters are going in there. When you're doing an application with corporate um, to get a corporate account through Home Depot or Lowe's or even Capital One or even American Express, guess what? They're going to do their due diligence. They're going to go on Google and they're going to check that out. You don't have a corporate domain. You don't have a corporate email. You don't have a corporate phone number. Guess what? They're Googling you. Again, I've spoken about too with regards to like a website. Having a corporate website is super important. On the application, you're going to be putting your corporate phone number, your corporate email. You're going to be putting certain documents and information on there that again, these things could go ahead and throw out little red flags and automatically disqualify you from being approved. So having these fundamental things are going to be the most important initially. Again, too, there's certain lenders, vendors, and creditors. Start off with accounts such as net 30 items. Quills, Staples, they offer Net30 accounts, Brett, uh, Marathon, Valvoline, Valero. These are corporate accounts that you could go ahead and start establishing without having corporate documents. You don't need a, a, a corporate bank statement or a tax return to open up an account like that. And really quick on a tip, because obviously I've been seen and some people have approached me, Huto, I put some of those things together, but then I got declined. Keep in mind, even though that you might have these things, and if you're doing it from the inception and the Secretary of State, you do have the corporate address. Make sure you copy and paste the name when you start when you start establishing reports with Duns and Bradstreet, Experian Business, and Equifax Business. Make sure that you copy and paste everything. Any little variation, a comma, a period, could offset the connection that's needed in order for the profile to be created. This could cause a decline. When you're, app, when you're actually going through the application process. And now, quick tip, quick hint, I wanted to give you guys regarding applying for credit. When you go into these Net30 accounts, which are obviously one of the first things to do, I always compare Net30 accounts, like remember when we started establishing personal credit that nobody wanted to give you credit? So we had to go ahead and open up maybe a secure credit card for 200 bucks that we really didn't want to do? Well, that's one of those necessary evils that we have to do initially in order for us to get to the end goal or the end result. So let's not shy away from this, but establishing one of those accounts, I always, people ask me, but Ahuto, I don't really have, um, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars that I'm actually processing. I just started doing Uber. Or Huto, I've been, I've been cutting grass part-time or I've been doing, I've been doing hair, you know, part-time. So I don't really have those, um, that amount of income. That's okay. 
One thing that I was taught when I was in Bank of America, when I used to do um, credit card applications for my clients, we used to do what's called projected income. The same thing that I tell people when you do your personal credit card applications. I do what's called household income. It's not the same thing as what you put because you make that income, but guess what? Your wife also has income. Your son has a job now that he's 18, or he should have a job if he's 18, right? So if you add everybody's income, and you divide that by whatever the expenses are, including on your personal credit, you're gonna have what's called the debt to income ratio. It should super exceed or over exceed a certain percentage in order for the lender, vendor, or creditor not to feel risky. Guys, I hope this information was fruitful. Again, projected incomes in the next 12 months. That's what you're gonna put as income because that's, expect, that's what you're expecting to get. The higher the income, the less the debts, the higher the limits. I hope this information was fruitful. Thank you so much for the love and support. Until the next time, take care.